Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today guys, we're at home, starting the vlog actually at home. Before we actually head over to the shop, we, there is something I wanna get coded on the 128 and we don't have Wi-Fi at the shop just yet, so I'm gonna have to just do it now. The 128, I don't know if you guys knew, came with keyless entry, came with backup sensors, but none of those features are working and then none of them are throwing errors on my dashboard either. So it looks like it's been coded out. So we're gonna go ahead and get the car inside the garage, see if we can get it coded back in. Nick is the man, always helping with all the coding stuff. So let's go ahead, get the car inside the garage, see if he do the coding for me while I edit the video that uploaded last week for you guys. All right guys, now that I got the car inside the garage, that is such a beauty. Let's go ahead and get the computer out of the 435 and hook it up. Dang. Right, while the computer is turning on, let's go ahead and hook this guy up. All right guys, so Nick went ahead and did some coding. So he figured out the fuse was shot. These sensors were not working, so now they're working. Apparently it was just a stupid fuse, so I was really worried. I was like, why isn't this working at all? Now it's working, that's perfect. So the only issue we're having right now is the keyless entry. The keyless entry is not working. I have no lights on the dashboard, which is super weird or anything. Like, I don't, maybe there isn't supposed to be a light, but he ran the codes and he figured out that there is some some wiring issue. I noticed that through the entire car, there is an aftermarket sound system wiring harness, even through the rear speakers, all that stuff. I'm gonna go through, take this thing to the garage, take out all the wiring, figure out if you tapped into anything and just, you know, put electrical tape and fix all that stuff. I'm gonna try to make sure I, I don't have any fuse shorted out. So that means I'm gonna have to take apart this side of the car because that's where the wires are um, running through. Take out the glove box, figure that out so we can get all the features to work properly. And at the same time, we're gonna be hopefully doing some coilovers on the E46. If not, that will be waiting for another day. If so, it's all gonna be some good stuff. I'm just really, I'm just really hyped. Like, let me show you guys this thing real quick. That finally works right there. I don't know, ah, hold on, can you guys see that? Can you guys see that? That finally works. Right now, let me just go ahead and put this car on the insurance and then head over to the shop. But before we do all that stuff, let me just finish up this video. All right guys, so the topic of today's video completely changed. We're gonna be working on the 128. We're gonna be celebrating 50K alone. All right guys, pulling up at the shop, seeing John's E30 for the first time. All right guys, so I just pulled up and John just got here. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? First time seeing the car. I just drove it on the block. I don't know, I ain't put that on camera. It actually drives really nice, but this is not stock, is it? No. Dude, I love how the hood opens like that. Damn, this is the E36 M3 motor? E36 M3 motor. Yeah, that looks super good. I like I actually like, what's it called? The management, it's super clean. And you did this yourself, right? So that's what's crazy, dude. So we got Jim Boy Tacos. Get something to eat real quick. Before we head back, I gotta get some gas. We just made it back to the shop. To We're gonna go ahead and pop the garage door open and figure out what's going on with this car and the reason why I got it so cheap in the first place. in the shop right now. Let me go ahead and turn on all the lights to make this place look all beautiful and stuff. Lights are on, so yeah, basically, I'm gonna explain to y'all the reason why I got the 128 so cheap. And it really isn't a legitimate reason. He sold it cheap for no reason, really. So the first thing is when I got the car, it had a bunch of lights. Not like lights as in like major air lights, but it had like service lights. It said the brake light, it had the front and rear brake uh, light. Um, it had brake fluid light, it had the oil light, and it had a low oil light as well. So. All that coming up when you're buying a car, it's kind of a little bit like, oh, why is there a low oil light? Why does it say that there's bad oil? Um, obviously, it looks like the person didn't really take care of the car. So this type of stuff will steer away a buyer. So I'm sure that's also the reason why he's been putting down the price more and more and more. He should have just did the oil change because this car is not leaking whatsoever. Like I haven't noticed it leaking at all and it hasn't been leaking on the ground or from the engine bay. So it looks so far so good. There's a slight valve cover leak, but like most cars, that's normal. Until I start seeing it as a major problem, then I'll replace it. Other things I've noticed uh, when picking up the car, and again, this is all priced accordingly. This little door gap is not the best but it's not a big deal. 
Um, this thing, you can't really open it. You have to put your nail in there and open it. This little thing here is broken, uh, so don't worry about that. All stuff that we're gonna be fixing, of course. This car came with two keys. One of the keys didn't work. We just didn't need a battery, so it looks like they didn't know how to do that, but you know, whatever. Second thing, this thing has a keyless entry that you guys can see is not even working. So, um, the keyless entry feature is not working. When I picked up the car, these weird sensors were not working. Shout out to Nick, he just got these sensors to work. They were just because of a blown fuse. So, son as stupid as that, could have cost him $3 to replace pretty much allowed me to negotiate on the price of the car a lot of little things i think he still got a fair price because i'm pretty sure he got it cheaper considering that i considering that you guys linked me a video of where this car was before i got it apparently another smaller youtuber built this car and um basically ended up replacing the quarter panel so that was the thing that was hit he replaced it i'll throw up pictures right here of how it looked before ended up fixing the quarter panel so it's kind of crazy that this was this build was completely documented the quarter panel was replaced not used it wasn't bondo to fix it up which is really nice but that also explains why the door gap and the quarter panel gap is not perfect but that's not a big deal really you can't hear it when you're inside the car like any wind noise so it's perfect honestly yeah so besides all the things that i've mentioned nothing major honestly like this is all little things that i was able to negotiate little by little i know the rear tires are completely shot he even told me i was like oh bro were you drifting this thing he's like of course so as you guys can see this this tire was torn to shreds um it's definitely gonna need a new tire. He was drifting on an uneven surface for sure because the tire, there was that tire wear is not normal. But anyways, all those things is why I got the car so cheap. I'll explain to you guys why I got the 435 chip so cheap, the price of the 435 and the mileage and everything because I don't think I really got into it. That would be in a separate video because it's not the topic of this video. But in this video, guys, I wanna fix a few of those issues. So we fixed the rear sensors this morning. You guys saw that Nick fixed it. Um, he checked the coating. He said the module wasn't working. Just needed a fuse, replace the fuse. Done. Now, let's go ahead and do an oil change because we did top it off with some oil, but I still wanna get that oil change done just because I don't know when the last oil change was. So your boy just realized he doesn't have an oil drain pan. Uh, so that is super unfortunate. So I think the only thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is use the garbage bin to carry the oil. I, I, I actually have no other legitimate idea. I just wanna get this oil change done. Who said a garbage can ain't a drain pan? All right, guys, don't be stupid like me. I'm gonna have to spend about another hour cleaning that. So, uh, I don't wanna scrub it while it's underneath the car. I went ahead and put back the drain plug. So let's go ahead and just put in the oil, get the car started, get the car out, and go ahead and clean up that mess. At this point, we put in the oil, put in the new filter. Let's go ahead and start up the car and check the oil levels. <laughs> Alrighty, so the SOS, we're gonna go ahead and fix that real quick, but let's just check the oil level and let it run for a little bit and then uh, see where the oil level's at. We're gonna have to let it run for a little bit. All right, while we're waiting for that to read out and letting the, idle, letting the car run for a little bit, I'm just gonna go ahead and start cleaning up the garage, the mess I made. All right, how is it? It is good. All right, let's get to go. Let's turn this thing off. Go ahead and deal with the rest of this thing when I finish up cleaning the garage. <laughs> So on a positive note, y'all, oil is completely off the ground. Thank the Lord. I pretty much put that thingy McBobber that you put on concrete, sprayed that thing off, and it uh, looks pretty good. So I mean, we're going to bring the car back in here and get back to work. All right, guys. So the first light you guys saw on the dash, um, that came on when I actually removed the fuse for the, how do you say it? I removed the fuse for the SOS to fix the rear, the parking sensors. So now I've got to put back the SOS so I can actually start playing music again. That was really sucky. I wasn't able to play music on the way here. For those of you guys who are one series and don't know how to move the glove box or at least try to get to the fuse box, you got to pull on this lever. Uh, there's a lever back here. Push on that lever and then push back on the shock. This guy had wiring. You guys see those wires right there? Like right there. Um, he wired in something, and I don't know if that's messing up some of my uh, electrical system. So I have a feeling that's the, one of the reasons why I have a short. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that whole harness and pretty much tape up every single area that he spliced into. I'm gonna put a five amp fuse in uh, fuse 59 real quick. So yeah, fuse 59 was the one I pulled out. Hopefully I didn't mess up something and we have music again because that was really annoying, ain't gonna lie. I actually hear the radio. Ooh, okay, all right, let's see, let's see if my music plays. Now that's what I'm talking about. See, I saw the wires right there and there is a bunch of wires in the trunk. So let's go ahead and get all that out. Good old pry tool.
right, guys, so I just went ahead and checked all the fuses. All the fuses for the comfort axis is good to go, so we can go ahead and just pack this stuff up. And then uh, I can pretty much put away everything in the glove box. There's no more wiring. I got pretty much all the wiring out of here. Apparently, all that wiring is from the LEDs. So I'm going to go ahead and strip all the LEDs from the car because that's. Alright guys, so inside the trunk there's some more wiring. So there's two more wires here, there is two more wires here, and one wire down here that I don't know where it goes to, and this one was a huge cable, I don't know that where it goes to. So we gotta figure out these two. Maybe it goes to the battery? Let's check out the battery compartment real quick. Surprisingly, these are not going to the battery. So I don't know where the heck this stuff is going. Um, yeah, let me go ahead and figure out where all this stuff is uh, going. Okay, well, two of the blue wires are going to the speakers on each side. So let me go ahead and remove those. So what do we just pry this thing up? All right, guys, we just got the stupid wires out of the speakers. Now we got these two. Let's figure out what's going on here. The blue wire was tapped into this wire right here, which I have no idea what it is. I'm gonna go put that one back, take the stupid tapped wire out. And now we have this one that's just a ground. Okay, so uh, we just have to take that bolt out. We can just take out this ground wire and we are officially done with all this aftermarket garbage. I'm happy to say there's officially no more wires showing up anywhere. This is all the aftermarket wiring I pulled out of my car. Like, what is going on here? So all that came out. I really doubt if I just close the door now and try the keyless entry if it will work or not. I'll just try it real quick. Uh, keys are in my hand. Yep, nothing. So yeah, keyless, keyless is still not working. I think it needs to be coded. When Nick was coding the, the rear, when Nick was checking the codes, he said that the module for this car for the comfort axis has been replaced. He's probably gonna have to do some coding for that, and that's most likely what it is. Other than that, there's no lights on the dash now. Everything works, thankfully. We did our oil change. We got our backup sensors to work. We reset all the lights. Everything is gone now. No oil leaks, and now all the janky wiring is out of the car. Now that is a productive day, if you ask me. By the way, as I'm looking at my phone right now, we've officially hit 50,000 subscribers. We actually already surpassed that. We're at 50,300. You guys are absolutely insane. I love y'all so much. And also, we hit a million views on the rebuilding an M3. That car, honestly, is just a legend. That car has came such a long way, and you guys can see what this channel is capable of. We can take anything and make it into something. So if you guys are excited, we're gonna be turning this into a beast. We're gonna be turning that 435 into a beast. I'm about to start locking up shop, head home, take a nap, and then we'll be back here tomorrow and install a new mod for this baby right here. Subscribers sent out a sick mod for this thing, so video to come. So without further ado, guys, I need to get a haircut. Y'all should enjoy your day. I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in cert, cause I wanna have worth.